How's it going? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shane. <coughs> welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel for the very first time, Shane Nicole. Uh, I'm going to be doing my very first YouTube videos. So please go easy on me in terms of criticism. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe. If you don't like it, please do the same. That's important to make do better videos. And yeah, let's get on to the review of my very first video on a pair of Miamin leather double mount straps. Leather shoe that I got from Miamin, a Spanish company that was used to be mostly online, but they now they have a store in Spain and New York, but not in Malaysia, which is where I come from. So let's get on to the review, the box. So how did I get to know about Miamin? Well, I got to know Miamin when I first got into classic menswear not too long ago, in late 2019, early 2020. They are a great brand. They are darling of the menswear world as they make affordable shoes and really high quality. Great shoes for such a cheap price, not cheap, but affordable price. Cheap is not like the regulatory. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be great shoes, best bang for the buck in terms of uh, as dress shoes go. So, uh, the box looks like this, it's a simple cardboard box, very simple design, very hard, it's a really hard box, really, it's sort of like cardboard, sandpapery texture, it says near me here, here, and I got the, I bought the museum cardboard, size 10 UK in the medium E. You can see there. Uh, it comes in the hero last. The leather is comes from a tender in Italy called Zonta and they're all vegetable and and as Miamin fans might know all of Miamin shoes are good here water so that's a good thing. It's a really high quality shoe. Now a bit about Miamin try to get my fall a bit. They are a Spanish brand they are based in Mallorca, Spain, around Madrid. The, the shoes were shipped from the local area in Spain. I pronounced it correctly. Short slope. Can't pronounce it correctly. But either way, they come from Spain. They are a Spanish brand. They are founded by Pepe Alvaradejo's father uh, back in 2001. Pepe's great grandfather was the father of Carmina, which is uh, like the top tier uh, men's wear shoe brand that makes really high price shoes, but they are. Obviously, the quality will be much better than this. But these are really great too. Don't, nothing to sniff about. So, uh, but they fit, make their shoes in China for the most part and they're finished in Spain. These shoes were shipped from, like I said, Madrid, Spain. So, how much did I pay for them? <laughs> well, uh, let me use my shop. Uh, their base Miamin line runs for below 200 US dollars. So, about uh, 175, 195 US dollars. And this museum gold card, card gold, how do you uh, say it? You can see that. It runs for about 230 US dollars, including standard shipping, which I chose, uh, is extra 25 US dollars. And if you use it to pay with PayPal, it's an additional 5% on top of that. But I chose regular shipping and I chose to pay, pay with shop pay, so I didn't have to pay the extra 5%. So, for the international orders, they ship with DHL Express. As far as I know, so I have a second pair of women's shoes. I'll get to that in a while. Uh, yeah, so altogether set me back $255, which is about $1,000 over ringgit. So, yeah, not the cheapest shoe in Malaysia you can buy, but trust me, it's really good quality. So, uh, I actually emailed Miamin uh, before they shipped out my shoes, and they said they were going to ship me out domestically, whatever that means, so I don't have to pay import taxes. But I did when they arrived in Malaysia, so a <laughs> duke on that one. I had to pay import taxes, additional 176 ringgit, so the total price of the shoes, including taxes, is 1,176 1, ringgit. Yeah, not the cheapest in the world, but they're worth it. So, um, I have to, e have to email near me later on why the, I had to pay taxes, but we'll get to that later. Now let's unbox the shoes actually. So I actually unboxed the shoes when they arrived by DHL Express a couple of days ago. Shined up a day later, but for this video, put them back in the box. So they're actually a bit shined up for this video. Not the best shine in the world, but a shine nonetheless. So unboxing the box, 
they're really hard, so you can see it's really sturdy. Opening the box, you're greeted by a very nice and fresh aroma. Really great. So, here we have the left shoe. Now, on the bottom of the shoe, it says Miami Mallorca, good year round and handmade shoe. Size 10 UK are pretty big feet for some reason. Uh, the upper is full grain leather from Zong Thai Italy vegetable tan. Uh, it's museum gold car and it's a really stiff shoe, it's really stiff, trust me, you can't bend it that much. It takes some time to break it to be honest. So uh, what's so special about gold museum car compared to regular leather? Well regular leather is well, it's full grey leather, they just take a part of car and make it. Museum car leather, museum gold car. This gold is just another word for tan, I suppose, in their vocabulary. Um, this museum gold car, they have brushes on it. So it makes the shoe look like it has some sort of patina, so that makes it really special. So that's something about museum car. They condition the leather so it looks like it has patina on it. So that's museum car for you. Now, on to the shoe. What's the shoe about? What's the production of the shoe? Most of all of human shoes are good here about it. Uh, they, this, shoe, this shoe has a 270 degree rub, so it gives a tighter heel. The shoe do fit. This is supposed to have a tight heel. The, the hero last this fit through the size for me. Uh, size 10, UK, EU44. But they, they are a bit large and loose in the heel, even though it's the 270 degree was supposed to have a tight heel. So the, they have a full leather, full grey outsole, top inner lining, leather insole, leather lining, and Italian calf skin leather upper and outsole. So the, they do have a rather thick sole, as you can see here. They are very nice. They look like they're made out of wood, even though they're not. The leather really, really nice. It's, it's sort of like circular here, but flattens out the edge over here. You can see it has a round cap toe. These are cap toes, uh, double monks, single stitch in the heel. Yeah, just really nice shoes. I really like them. Uh, quite stiff in the heel, quite stiff in the sorry, cap, cap toe, heel. Yeah, they're real nice. I really like them. Uh, as most people know about Miami, they're quite stiff shoes. They do have a rather long breaking period time. Maybe because the leather they use, the leather they use is quite stiff, although it's quite soft. Uh, the Goodyear one is really good, really stiff. So yeah, this that's the basic construction of the shoe. So on to the last part, which I want to talk about: the pros and cons of this Miami car, go go car shoes. How do you so, uh, to be honest, there are really no cons for me aside from the price and probably the fact that I have to pay for taxes because they are from overseas and they're quite expensive. But I really give it no cons. I would really, really rate this shoe 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 to be, 9 out of 10 or maybe 10 out of 10 to be honest. It's, it really is a great shoe for the price. So, uh, pros, really great build quality, really sturdy workmanship for this particular brand. A great customer service, fast shipping, they look great, museum car always just look great. They're, they're really well built, they're sturdy, they're stiff. And, you know, they, they, they have a great last and fits through to size. Uh, if there will be any cons, I really say that they are too stiff, they really are quite stiff, you have to, they have a longer breaking time. Uh, if you never, if you never worn a shoe with a full leather outsole before, they will be quite slippery. However, there isn't an issue, and you can easily rough them up. There's no problem with turning them, or you can, uh, you know, put a vibram outer rubber sole. On them. But either than that, aside from the slip and stiff issues, there's really not much of a problem. They're really great shoes, and I really recommend them. Ten out of ten. Oh, nine out of ten. So. I really hope you guys enjoyed my review of my Miami Gold Cup shoes, double mount traps, size 10 UK e uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give a like, thumbs up, subscribe, share this video if you really enjoyed it. 
And if you didn't enjoy it, do comment down below what I could improve on for my future videos. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye.